hallelujah, hallelujah. Can't help but smile, can't help but laugh, can't help but feel free in the presence of the living God. Glory to God. Uh -huh. I'm going to sing over song. <laughs> uh, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, to his hand, oh, God's unchanging hand. Oh, oh, oh.
watching this morning, and for all that's present this morning. We thank God. If it wasn't for his hand to hold, who hands could we hold? No better hand to hold but God. I don't know about you, but I, I trust God. Because I'm still here. You're here. We're in the right place. I'm going to open up with a scripture out of uh, Psalms, uh, Psalms 119, verses 72. Psalms 119, verses 72. I keep saying this. The best hand. The best hand. That's right. Let's raise our best hand. Yeah. Raise your best hand. Give them a wave offering this morning. Because he deserves it. We thank you this morning, oh God. For your best hand. Your hand. Which is always good. Are we there? Yeah. On the count of two. One and two. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than a thousands of gold and silver. Watch the mouth. It may not seem like it, but it's rich. It can take you or it can destroy you. It can put you in good places or cause you to become just something in the earth not serving a purpose. We know what he said, so we don't have to be concerned about blessed, because we was blessed from the beginning. Yeah. So the only thing we have to do is hold on to what he said, not thinking because he can't lie. And we should become the same way. We know what we're saying, we believe it, let's believe it. Yeah. We're saying something and don't believe it, don't say it. Because it might come back and bite you. <laughs> if he's saying something, believe it. If you believe it, I put it this way. That's good. But if you don't believe it, don't say it. Because it can come back and bite you. It could be something that caused you to get caught up in a trick bag. God's word is the truth. I don't care how the situation looks. I don't care how it feels. I don't care how people are talking about this or that. If you know what you believe, if you know what he said, believe it, no matter what they say. Believe it. So this morning, we thank you, God, this morning for giving us another chance. We thank you for this is a Sunday that we haven't seen before. Even though I say Sunday, but this one we haven't seen before. Every day is a different day, oh God. And we want to thank you for it. We ask you that you look over, oh my God. Thank you. This service today. Look over the visitors, look over the guests. Look over all things pertaining to church service in this building today, oh God. We would say, send your word and heal us. Deliver us from our destructions. Yes. Cause us to be ready when you call. Yes. Cause us to have happiness, peace, and joy in this service today. Bless everything about it. Bless the speaker, the singers, bless the visitors, bless the, all that come in today, God, to the doors. We know you're here already, so we don't have to include you. You're already in the place. We know that. So help us to realize you are in the place. Help us to give you the respect that you deserve for being in the place today, God. And we want to thank you this morning, God. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happiness and peace and joy. Oh, God, the movement of the 
the limbs and the body, all body parts working well. We thank you that everybody in the house this morning is already healed because we were healed from the beginning. By your stripes, we were healed. We were healed. We were healed. We were healed. And we thank you, oh God, no matter, like I say, how I look, how I feel, but we know what you say. We know what the book says. So have your way with us this day. Bless the singers, the ushers, the visitors, the guests, and all parts of this service, God. Sanctify us now. Set us aside. Put us in that place. Let me give you your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Read that verse one time. Read that verse one time. Oh, uh, Psalm 118. You gotta hear it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. It's powerful. Yeah. Psalm 119, verse 72. The law, law. of thy mouth is better unto me than a thousand of gold and silver. The mouth. You got a rich mouth. Powerful mouth. It can determine where you go, what you do, what you say, and what you have. Know what comes out. If you see the wrong thing on the way out, block it. Don't let it take shape from form. Don't let it come to life. Thank you. Glory to God. Yes. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise.
Jesus. And worship and praise. The ones who please are head clap. Hallelujah. Praise my God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Oh, that's all right. You can't tell me to be no good. You can walk yourself. Remember, she prays. She becomes a good one. Almighty one. Come on. Hurry up, somebody. Hurry up, somebody.
So now he's in Arizona, he's graduated from dental school, and he's doing real good. But see, this is how the enemy does. He lost his apartment dealing with this girl. So for the last two weeks, he's been living in hotels. And I've been sending him like 100 here, 200 there, you know. And I talked to him yesterday, and I said, Broderick, I said, don't you lose your faith in God. I said, because God got his hands on you. You know, I said, things happen for a reason. And it may have been to get that girl out your life so he can get you to a place where you call on him. And he said, you know what, Drina, yesterday I had a long talk with the Lord. And he was like, I was just talking to him like he was my father. And I was listening, and I was crying too, but I was listening. And he said, oh, I'm not worried because I know God got his hands on me. I know I've changed. You know, and I said, brother, you keep praying. You keep asking the Lord. I said, I see what the devil will do. He'll try to make your circumstances look bigger than God. And it ain't. You keep trusting God. You keep That's having right. faith in That's God. Right. That's and right. call me. I'm here. But the Holy Spirit had told me, you pray for him. This was last week. He said, because the devil's trying him. And, and when I told him, he was like, oh, Trina, you just don't know the thoughts that's been coming to my mind. And I said, well, you rebuke the thoughts, you keep your faith in God, That's and right. then I sent them some more money. I told them to call, check on the Airbnb, because it may be cheaper than staying in a hotel. I said, but whatever you do, don't you go back. That's right. Don't go back. That's right. Don't go back to that old project, that old way of life. You know, I said, because God has delivered you. That's right. So I just want you guys to just keep him in prayer. He has an awesome calling on his life. His name is Broderick, and he don't mind if I call his name out because he wants some prayer. And I know the saints of God know how to get touch the heart of God. So please pray for him. His name is Broderick Stewart. Okay. He's in Arizona. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Thank you. this is a good time now to bring this speaker up. Yeah. That was a good testimony. Mm -hmm. All testimonies are good. Amen. But some put you on the edge of your chair sometimes. You know? That was good. Pray the Lord will bless him. Mm -hmm. And bless you for giving that blessed. testimony. That's right. Well, blessed. we're going to bring the speaker. Praise the Lord. He's Praise worthy. Lord. He's worthy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hold on. Maybe, maybe we all got distracted. My God just got distracted. But praise the Lord. Everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. He's worthy, God. He's worthy. God. Just like I said, I'm happy to see everybody here today. Amen. Uh, this is the Sandra here of Love Me. We love you. You know that. Amen. Our apostle is here. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah, this time last week, I didn't know what I was doing up here. I was all disembodied. <laughs> I need my pastor. <laughs> but God is good, isn't it? I'd also like to thank the heat for showing up. <laughs> but I'm, without further ado, I'm going to introduce the speaker that we have here, a wonderful young man, a young man of God, that I think I personally know a little bit. <laughs> but I'm going to read his introduction. I'm going to try to make it through the whole thing. This, I ain't got to read it. I'm going to read part of it so they know who you are. Prophet, this is Prophet William Foy, everyone. 
Prophet William Foy, I'll read this part right here, is currently a member of New Hope Fellowship Church under the pastors and spiritual parents of Chief Apostle Joseph and Apostle Sandra Poole, who's in our crew. Yes. I'm sorry. Who's in our presence, everyone, please give it a Wonderful, wonderful men and women of God over there at New, for New Hope Fellowship. Uh, we thank God for them. But uh, back to Prophet uh, Foy here. <laughs> he teaches this, the certified prophetic trainer level of the School of Prophets under the Cleveland Prophetic Institute. And he also instructs the youth school of the prophets. Prophet Foy is known to be called APJ which means Apostle Prue Jr., all right. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and for his flow of the prophetic and healing ministry. Yeah, yeah. So we already releasing uh, yeah. the spirit of the prophetic yeah. and the spirit of healing here in the name of Jesus. So y'all be expecting. Uh, I'm putting the demand on the young man of God right now, all right? He don't need me to put one on, but I'm going to put it on him anyway, all right? Right, bring it out. Y'all stretch your hands forward and say, Prophet. 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 Bring it out. Bring it out. Prophet. Prophet. Bring it out. Bring it out. And don't hold back. And don't hold back. In the name of Jesus. So without further ado, introduce this. I'm presenting to others, Prophet William Ford. Get 
on a preliminary chop away, so you just use your weapons to keep clapping. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for friends in the kingdom. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're in the kingdom, it can be a little bit lonely. Yeah. And so I certainly thank God for Minister Pastor Brandon Lee. Come on. Nothing like the Lee family. I love the Lee family. <laughs> my wife, we talk about Elder Debbie Lee all the time. I said, if I could just take her and get a minister in my, in my living room and they just sing all night. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Nobody can navigate through worship like Elder Debbie Lee. Come on, clap for her. And the Lee is a I like preaching. Anybody like preaching? I like preaching. Yeah. So Apostle said, you, he said, you just let the Lord use you. He prayed for me in the office. Well, I, feel, I feel extra honored. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. If you have your Bible, start with me to the uh, book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. I'm going to read it in the Message Bible. I only read the Message Bible for inspiration. I don't build doctor on the Message Bible. Hallelujah. But if you want to, if you want to get a good laugh, read the message Bible. Hallelujah. The message Bible is saying some crazy stuff. And we're going to start at verses 21. No, I'm sorry. We're going to start at verse 25. We want you to read Ezekiel 21, 25. I feel such an anointing in this place. I feel such an anointing in this place. I'm going to read Ezekiel 21, 25. When you have it, say, I got it. I got it. All right. I was um, driving, leaving a, a baby shower. Uh, I'm a walk, so y'all, I'm a walker. I can't stand still. <laughs> I was um, re I was um, leaving a baby shower yesterday. My sister in baby shower. She was having twins. And I said to her, thank God it ain't me. Praise the Lord. And I got two babies, and those two was enough for like 22. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so, um, the Lord began to talk to me about this house. He began to say this to me, is that you're coming into a season of answered prayers. Amen. 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 That you're coming into a season where all that you have petitioned before the Lord will begin to manifest. I, I see in the spirit that this, this house have a lot of prayers before the Lord. Some have he even answered, and some you've been waiting on saying, God, okay, I prayed about that. Now I want to see some manifestation. And the Lord said that this is manifestation time. Come on, talk to me. If you believe that, just give God a shout. Tell somebody I'm in the manifestation season. Come on. Come on, what I've said, come on. What God spoke to me is going to happen. Come on, I'm in a manifestation season. Come on, I'm going to see some prayers answered. Am I helping somebody in here? Come on, I'm in a manifestation season. Right, right. And watch this. The Lord said this to me. He said, you can detect the season of manifestation by the season of trouble you just came out of. Oh, God. I think I got some folks in here that's been in the season. Come on, where you had opposition on every side. Am I helping somebody in here? Tells them I'm in a manifestation season. Ooh, watch out now. I'm getting ready to see some stuff come to pass. Come on. Those prophetic words that I've been holding on to, come on, that I look foolish for holding on to, they get ready to come to pass. I'm helping somebody in here. Now listen, I like a, I like a, I like a church that's going to talk back to me. Come on. Tell somebody I'm in a manifestation season. All right, all right. Let's go. Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 21. Thank you. I get so excited. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 21, verse 25. Watch this. Oh, Zedekiah, blasphemous and evil prince of Israel. Time's up. Somebody say time's up. Time's up. Ooh, it is punishment payday. God said, take your royal crown off your head. No more business as usual. I'm reading the message Bible. Mm -hmm. The underdog will be promoted and the top dog will be demoted. Ruins, ruins, ruins. I'll turn the whole place into ruins. And ruins, it will remain until the one who has the right to it. Then I'll give it to him. Father, give us revelation, give us insight, give us encouragement in Jesus' name. I want to talk to you from the subject 
this, this, I want to do my little Easter speech this morning. Hallelujah. From the subject, somebody say, time's up. Time's up. No, no, no. I need you to say it with some authority. I need you to say it like you believe it. Somebody say, time's up. Time's up. That's right. I'm, I'm coming in the right house. So watch this. Here in this text, uh, the prophet Ezekiel has just released a word, and the, the word was to a principality that had rested over Israel. Now, this principality had rested over their money, they rested over their family, come on somebody, they rested over their well-being, they rested over their health, come on somebody, and this evil principality, the prophet released a word that said it was time was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, good God Almighty. He released a word that said that it's time's up. Come on. That person probably is trying to run your life, trying to run your marriage, trying to run your family. Come on, trying to run your money, trying to run your progression and your momentum. The Lord said time's up. Tell them about time's up. Now watch this. Here's what it got interested in. What I like about it is he said it's punishment pay that. So he said, watch this. Not only is your time up, but you get ready to pay for all the best that you cost. <laughs> God Almighty, I'm coming to the purpose of saints today. He said, your time's up and you get ready to pay. Watch this. He said, take off your royal crown. What did he say? He said, you have no more authority over these people. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Watch this. And then he said this. He said, the underdog will be promoted and the top dog will be demoted. Watch this. If you black, you're an underdog. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you kids are underdog because you're black. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody in here. And so watch this. God said, it is your season. Y'all yeah. ain't talking as good as I'm preaching. Yeah. It is your season. Come yeah. on, somebody. Yeah. It's my time to be promoted. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It's my time to flourish. Come on. Yeah. It's my time to prosper. Come on. Yeah. I'm gaining momentum. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It is my season. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting something so far? Yeah. Now watch this. One of the things I love about this text, Apostle, is this is the only text in the Bible. This is the only scripture where it repeats itself three times. Mm. Now, even when Jesus hit the scene, Jesus only said very, very twice. This is the only text that you will find in the Bible. I did my research. This is the only, I knew I was coming to, to freedom, so I said, let me do my research. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the only scripture you'll find where it repeats itself three times. Let me help us out about it. He said, watch this. He said, ruins, ruins, ruins. Now, if you read it in the King James, he said something. He said, I'll overturn it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Woo! I, want you, I need you to get excited about this. Watch this. What did he say? He said, I'm going to overturn some stuff. Come on, somebody. They try to stop you. They try to block you. Come on, somebody. They attack your family. Come on. They attack your money. Come on, somebody. They attack your marriage. Come on. I'm going to overturn it. Seen more afflicted days yeah. than I've seen some glad days. 
And this, this is what he says. He says, Lord, he said, this is what I need you to do. I need you to fix the balance. Yeah. I need you to fix the record. Am I helping somebody? Now watch this. Watch this. I want you to understand that every affliction don't come from the enemy. I want you, I know you believe your Jesus. Come on, love you. He do. But there's some afflictions he allow. Come on, somebody. To attack you. Come on, somebody. He simply said this to me one time. I ask you all the questions because I like to ask questions because I just don't believe in going and going through stuff. Now watch this. I'm saying this. The millennial generation, we like to ask questions. I know they aggravate y'all, but we like to ask questions. Come on, somebody. I know y'all come from the generation that say, don't ask no questions. But we do. Amen. We like to break the record. Come on. We like to ask questions. Amen. Amen. And so watch this. Watch what he says. He says, I asked him a question. I said, Lord, why do I go through? Because I need to understand something. Come on. I had to give up all this stuff to get here. I need to understand why am I still going through it. Anybody ever ask that question, why am I going through it? Come on, can't drink, can't smoke, come on, can't pour, can't get a doctor. Come on, you had to give all that up. Come on, to get here, why am I still going through yeah. And he simply said this to me. He said, I put you through just to let you know you can make it through. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. He said, I sent you through just to let you know that you ain't going to come through. And I help somebody in here. And so watch this. Moses said, now make me happy. He, he didn't say, he, he said, I want no joy. He said, I want to be happy. Come on, somebody. He said, make me happy. Well, in the days you have afflicted us. He said, this affliction that come from the enemy. Come on, this is something you allowed. Let me help with somebody here. He said, I need you to fix the record. Come on, somebody. I've been afflicted my body. Come on. I've been afflicted my mind. Come on, somebody. My, my marriage is afflicted. Come on, somebody. My household is afflicted. Happy. Yeah. Tell the Lord say, make me happy. Come on, make me happy. Come on, I want to skip through some lyrics. Come on, somebody. Make me happy. Yeah. 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 You know they say money can't buy happiness. Well, let me test it and see. Come on. <laughs> they say money can't buy happiness, but they sure put a good down payment on it. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. I want to be happy. Come on, somebody. I want to be able to write a check and not worry about it. If I help somebody, come on, somebody. I want to be able to go on a vacation. Come on, somebody. And I have the budget. Come on, somebody. Because I got access. If I help somebody, yeah. Yeah. make me glad. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, it's my time. It's my time. Come on, I got seed in the ground. It's my time. Come on, somebody. Come on, I've been giving and giving and giving. Come on, it's my time. Watch this. He says, Make me glad according to the days where thou has afflicted us. And then he says, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Come on. Have yeah. anybody seen some evil years? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. When you thought of Donald Trump, it was some evil years. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I need to see some gladness. Come on, honey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be I, I, I want no joy. Oh, you know, joy is supposed to be with you even when you don't feel like it. Come on, somebody. Say, I want to be happy. Come on. I want to know, is it all worth it? Am I helping somebody in here? Have anybody asked that question, is it all worth all this? Come on, somebody. Come on, because i got to keep myself together for all this. Am I helping somebody? Where is my payday? Someone say, where's my payday? Where's my payday? Now, watch this. What was interesting about Ezekiel is the prophet began to declare to the principality, the rest of Israel, he began to declare that his time was up. And then he said, take off your royal crown. So he said, I'm stripping you of authority. So I asked myself this question, where did he get the authority from? How did this principality have authority to rest over the people of Israel? Where did it come from? Come on. Yeah. Go with me to Judges, the third chapter. Oh, yeah. Are you getting something so far? Yeah. I am enjoying myself here. I feel like I'm at New Hope. I feel like I'm home. Amen. Amen. Judges, the third chapter. And we're going to read verse 1. Are you getting something so far? Amen. Watch what it says. Yes. Now, these are the nations which the Lord left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Elder, he said, These are the nations that the Lord left. Mm -hmm. Now, here we're going to read some principalities that God left to fight Israel. Okay. Now wait a minute. Yeah, I thought the Lord was going to fight all my battles. 
No, he said, I need to teach you the art of war. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to let these principalities afflict you for a moment. Yeah. Until you understand how to fight. Yeah. Good God. Right. Watch this. He said, uh, these are, now these are nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them, even as many of Israel had not known all the wars of Canaan. So I just said, I left these principalities to fight, to teach Israel how to fight. Yes. So I told them, I'm unleashing you. Yes. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Watch this. Only the, that the generations of children of Israel might know to teach them war. And at least uh, the such of these before uh, knew nothing they wrote. Namely, the five lords, the Philistines, all the Canaanites, and all the Sonyites, all the Ites. Somebody say all the Ites. All the Ites. So watch this. Not only did he leave the principalities, he left the captains of the principalities. Yes. He left the chiefs amongst them. Come on, he left the chiefs of the sinners. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. To fight Israel. Watch this. Yes. To prove to you that inside of you is the ability to overcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That inside of you is the ability to fight. Yeah. That inside of you was the ability to overcome and fight any principality. Oh, and yeah. so what did God send you through just to let you know that you're able to come through? Come on, somebody. Yeah. And when you come through, I'll reward you accordingly yeah. to the affliction that I caused you. That I'm helping somebody in here. I'm not going to just afflict you, but I'm going to pay you for affliction. Somebody say, it's my payday season. It's my payday season. Come on, you get paid for wars that you fought 10 years ago. Am I helping somebody? 20 years ago, you get paid. Come on, you thought you just went through it, but God said, I kept a record, and I'm coming to reward. Can somebody give God a praise for the reward? Somebody say he's coming to pay this. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, somebody. When I almost lost my mind. Come on. He's coming to pay me. Come on, somebody. When he took away my love, well, come on, somebody. He's coming to pay me. Yeah. Somebody say it's my payday time. It's my payday time. So he left. He left some principalities. Now let just let me think about. When Jesus comes to Simon Peter, he says, Simon Peter, Simon Peter, for Satan desire to have you. Amen. Now, if you read in certain languages or certain translations, it actually says Satan desire to have you all. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I was pondering on that. I said, well, what do you mean when you say you all? It's just me. Just me and my three. Hallelujah. He said, no. Come on, he desired to have everybody. Come on, somebody. Folks that prayed for you. Come on, folks that supported you. Come on, somebody. Folks that believe in you. Come on, somebody. Folks that's connected to you. He said, Satan desired to have you all. Yeah. But now here, I, you know, I've been reading the scripture, and, and preachers and, and Bible scholars, you know what I'm about to talk about. I read the scripture sometimes, and I have a problem with the text. I had a problem with the text. And here's my problem with the text is, apostle, when, when Jesus said, Satan desired to have you all, that it may sit you as weak. He said, but I pray your faith fell, faith fell not. Right? Now I had a problem with text. I said, now, what you telling me for? <laughs> don't pray for me. Kill that joker. Everybody help with somebody. I don't want your prayers. I want you to kill that joker. Come on. Don't tell me he coming to get me. You just tell me he was trying to get me, but you killed him. Everybody help with somebody. Don't, don't tell me that you pray. I don't want your prayers. I want you to get rid of this thing, bro. Oh, I know that ain't y'all. Come on, somebody. I know, I know y'all want to go through everything the Lord sent you through, but not me. Come on, somebody. I just want him to just tell me the lesson. I learned it already, and I got it, and I don't have to go through it. I'm helping somebody in here. Do I have anybody to understand what I'm talking about? And so I took peace out of Peter because if he came to me and said, Will, Will, Satan desire to have you, they may simply as weak. But I prayed your faith fell not. I said, Dog, don't pray, brother. Go ahead and you, Jesus, the Son of God. Go ahead and get rid of this joker. I don't want you to pray. Get rid of this Negro. Everybody help me somebody in here. Come on, you know you got some Negroes you want to get rid of. Come on. Knocking on your door. Come on, somebody. Texting you. Asking for the money. Get rid of that Negro. Watch this. But it says something that's so interesting. He said, I pray for your faith or not. But that's not even the interesting part. Here's the interesting part. He said, when you are converted. Good God. My 
I got excited about it. He said, when you are converted, watch this. He said, I, he didn't say maybe. He didn't say possibly. He said, I already know from the foundation of the work you will be converted. I already know from the foundation of the work you will come do this. But when you come through, oh, God, good God in here. When you come, I feel like shouting already. When you come through, it might help with somebody in here. And so, watch this. It's not about that you know that you're not coming through. It's about the wind. Hey, good God Almighty. It's about the wind. Yes, God. And so watch this. The Lord came to me and said to me, he said, I want you to understand timing. He said, my people miss things because they don't understand my timing. It's not about I don't know when God's going to do it. Or it's not about I don't know he's not going to do it. I just need to know when. I trust and I believe that he's going to do it. And he's proven himself time after time. I just don't understand the when. Come on. Come on. It's not about the how. Because you know, sometimes I don't even want to know how he's going to do it. Because the how scares me sometimes. Anybody yeah. ever had the how? Yeah. Wait a minute. You've been telling me I'm going to almost lose my mind. But then you're going to put me back up here. Huh? I don't want to know the how. I don't want to know the why. I just need to know the time and the when. Come on, somebody. When am I going to come out? And not only when am I going to come out, when am I going to get paid for coming out? Come on, you ever went through some stuff? Come on, somebody. You said, I don't know how I got out. But I wish I would have got out sooner. Come on, somebody in here. And so watch this. And the Lord said, I'm coming to teach my folk, my people time. I'm coming to teach my people time. To understand my time and my divine time. Because I found out the hard way that my time and his time would be off. Huh? I said, Lord, this has been going on a little too long. Huh? And what he said to me, he said, you understand the principle of when it's time. Watch this. Go with me. Are you getting something so far? Yes. Go with me to Isaiah. Somebody say, it's my time. Isaiah, we're going to read Isaiah 41. I love this. I love this verse. I'm going to read it in the message Bible, though, because I love, I love how it's said in the message Bible. And we're going to start at verse 8. Now, you'll often see in this text that the prophet Isaiah go back and forth. And calling Israel Jacob. And sometimes he say Israel. Now I want to let you understand why he said that, or why you see that, is because Israel is when he was saved. Hallelujah. Jacob is in his backslid moment. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you you know you got some Jacob moments. Hallelujah. You had some Jacob days. Now you got moments. Praise the Lord. You got moments when you lay your religion down. Come on, shut up. Don't, don't, don't be deep in here. Right now. You got some moments you be thinking about some stuff. Oh, your job, you got some Negroes and Negresses. Come on, somebody talk to me. Huh? They get on your nerves. You ready to lay your religion down? Come on, come on. Don't be. Okay. The apostle here, you want to be nice. I know. But you got moments. Come on, somebody. You used to have BC days. Come on. Now, you know what BC means? Before Christ. You used to have BC days. Come on. Now, you got BC moments. Come on, talk to me. And so, here. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. We're going to pray for you after, after the day. We're going to pray for you. You won't have no more BC moments. Hello. Hallelujah. But so, so the prophet Isaiah will go back and forth and call the children of Israel who call them Jacob because they were still in their backslidden days. And says, so, but you, Israel, are my servant. Watch this. You're Jacob, my first choice. A descendant of my good friend Abraham, I pulled you from all over the world. Ain't that something good? Ain't that good? Yeah. I pulled you in from all over the world, called you from every dark corner of the earth, telling you what? You're my servant, servant of my son. I picked you. I haven't dropped you. This is so good. Watch, watch this. This is my favorite part. Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear. For I'm your God. I'll give you strength. Well, ain't this good? I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. I'll keep a firm grip on you. Well, watch this. Here's, here's my favorite part. Count on it. Somebody say count on it. Count on it. He said, believe this. Take this to the bank. He said, believe this. Take this to the bank. 
Everyone who had it in for you will end up out in the cold. This is the Bible. I didn't say this. Real losers. Those who worked against you will end up empty handed. Nothing to show for the lives. When you go out looking for your old adversaries, you won't find them. Not a trace of your old enemies. Not even a memory. That's right. Because I, your God, have a firm grip on you and I'm not letting you go. I'm telling you, don't panic. I'm right here with you. Ooh, ain't that good? And then look, watch, this, watch this. He says, uh, when you go out looking for your old adversaries, how many got some old adversaries? Now watch this. When I read this in the carnal way, I thought he was talking about some folks that were against me. But he began to give me, he began to give me revelation. You know what the old adversary is? You. Come on, one of the biggest enemies that you will face is you. That's your old adversary. Come on, that adversary that don't want you to go forward. Come on, somebody. That adversary that's in the midst of your trial telling you to quit. That might help somebody telling you to give up. Come on, somebody. Well, you ain't seen harmless yet telling you don't give. Oh, come on, stop it here. Hello? Well, you ain't seen the harvest yet telling you stop tithing. Come on, telling you tithing ain't for the day. It's a teacher going around talking about tithing ain't for the day. Get away from them, folks. Get away from them. I tried to test it and it's proven. Am I helping somebody in here? He said, the old adversary. Come on, am I helping somebody? Those who worked against you. Come on, somebody. You know who we're talking about? You who worked against you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Who told you you couldn't make it. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Who told you this ain't worth it. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Who told you why you keep going to church? They don't like, come on, somebody. That old adversary. Yeah. Am I helping somebody in here? Yeah. Tell somebody it's my time. It's my time. It's my season. Come on, somebody. Come on. It's manifestation time. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I'm getting ready to get a harvest. Come on, all my prophetic words that rest over my life. Come on, somebody. That I had not seen come to pass. It's the season. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that God has released a word over your life. That said that old principality, come on somebody, arrested over you, come on somebody, where yeah. you couldn't go forward, yeah. you couldn't you didn't have no momentum, come on somebody, yeah. that tried to attack you with depression, come on somebody, yeah. trying to attack your mind, God said that his time is up, come on somebody, yeah. and now stuff can manifest. Yeah. I really found this out, that sometimes things don't manifest, not because God don't want it to happen, but because you're not in the right place. Yeah. I'm not talking about physical place, I'm talking about spiritual place. Yeah. Watch this. I like shopping, praise the Lord. And my wife knows it. Hallelujah. And so she prays for me every day. And so how many Amazon members I got up here? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. The Amazon trip to God in Christ. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I see y'all. I see some members. I see some members. I see some members. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I see some faithful members. Let me see. How many prime members I got up in here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I see the spirit right over this here. Come on. <laughs> Amen. And you know, Amazon is messed up and get, you can get stuff the same day sometimes. Oh, the, the devil is about Hallelujah. I mean, just a click and a click and a click. I got more boxes trying to hide. I don't think they have no more. I ain't got nowhere to put them. Ah. And so, <laughs> and they laugh because the Apostle Sandra, you know, I thought I shopped at Amazon, but Apostle Sandra, she really shopped at Amazon. I go to their house, it's like four or five boxes. God Almighty. And so, one of the things about Amazon that I love is they'll send you a tracking of when your stuff is still arriving. Oh, yes, you can track it. I'll be yeah. So, you can meet the Amazon man at the door and try to hide it from your spouse. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you can just have been had this spinner clock. <laughs> My father used to hide clothes from my mother. Amen. When he had passed away, he found two suits that he couldn't even wear. But he had, had them hide, hidden in his car. Praise the Lord. That's all. It's down my bloodline. You pray for me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and so uh, the ability is to track or to track when your package is to arrive. And so sometimes you'll be at work and it'll say it delivered to your house. But even though it says in your position and Amazon is no longer responsible for it, you cannot get that package until you arrive at the destination where it has been sent to. I don't care where, what it says delivered, come on somebody, you will not get the package until you get 
to the destined place. And sometimes in our life, God has sent things to a destination. Yeah, Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. And you cannot receive it until you show up in the right place. I'm helping somebody. Come on, somebody. And some of us are in the past season asking God, where's our stuff? He said, I sent you to the new season. You haven't walked in it yet. And so watch this. Your life is about getting you to destinations. But one of the words that we throw around the church is destiny, right? You've got to get my destiny. Come on, somebody. Well, in order for you to get to your destiny, you got to get to the destined place. Yeah, come on. Am I helping somebody in here? And so what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that God has already released the word over this house that said it's manifestation time, but you won't see the manifestation until you get to the prophesied place. Am I helping somebody in here? Because he sent things to destiny places. Wait in your life. Well, come on, somebody. Talk to me now with God. I gotta get to the place. Somebody said, I gotta get to the place where I gotta crawl, kick, scream, cry. Come on, somebody. Somebody gotta drag me. I need to get to the place. It blew my mind when I heard a father say he was crawling on the floor to get to the bed. Because he understood that if I get to the bed, I'll be all right. Come on, somebody. And so sometimes you got to crawl to the place. Somebody helping somebody in here. You got to crawl to the place. Come on, somebody. I got to get to the place. Come on, somebody. I got to get there kicking and screaming. I may be in pain, but I need to get to the place. Because at the place, I can get healed. Come on, somebody. At the place, I can get delivered. Come on, somebody. At the place, my life will be changed. Somebody say, I got to get to the place. I got to get to the place. Come on, somebody. It may be hard. Come on, somebody. My elbows may be bruised. Come on, somebody. Knees may be bruised. But I got to get to the place. Yeah. 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 The main time of my life. Well, I was like, Lord, this is it. I may ever quit. Well, I may ever quit. Come on. I probably quit last week. Come on. Come on. And your body just, it's muscle memory. You just end up getting, going, getting up, getting ready to church, right? You say, I ain't going to church today. Let's see, you know, you getting up, getting dressed. Oh, well, you say, I'm done with all that prophesying. Somebody call you, start prophesying. I'm, a, I'm done with all that praying. Somebody call you, you with a problem, you start praying. Why? Because you, it's in you. Come on, somebody say, the nature is in you. Come on, somebody. And all you got to do is get to a place to where heaven can open over you. Come on, somebody. Where those things can break over you. Come on, somebody. What manifestations are happening if I help somebody. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, folks, don't go to church. Watch it online. Get to church. I start watching them online. And I start scrolling on my Facebook. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Uh, listen. Start scrolling on Facebook. Come on. Start watching TV. Look at it. Start shopping on Amazon. Come on, somebody. Look at the word. Come on. I need to be in the place. Come on, somebody. I need to be with a sight here. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is our new normal. The devil is alive. Watch this. If you can't find it in the scripture, it ain't the new normal. Come on. Church ain't going to virtual. The devil is alive. Come on, somebody. We go. The Bible says, "For Satan, not to assemble yourself on Come on, somebody. So we can't assemble on Zoom. The devil is alive. Folks glitching and you. Come on, talk to me. Screen freezing. You can't hear folks. Folks don't want to go on mute. We've been using Zoom for almost three years, and they still don't want to mute their phone. The devil is alive. Because it's not meant to be. It's a temporary fix. Come on, somebody. But I need to get to the place. Because I know if I get amongst the believers, come on, somebody. If I get amongst the apostolic, come on, somebody. I know my life will change. I'm going to say, I know it will be manifestation time. Come on, somebody. Right, hey. Come on, you sound like you're in the head. Come on, me. I'm shot. Come on. I know it's my season. Yes. <coughs> Last thing, and I'm gone, and we're going to start prophesying. I'm going to lay hands and we're going to do all that we can do. Hallelujah. Watch this. The last thing is this. The Lord said this to me. The glass ceiling that rests over your life has been shattered. Yes. No longer was that season of you being able to see it but can't get it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. No longer that season of saying, I, it's in my reach, but there's something blocking me. Am I helping somebody in here? 
uh, no longer that season say, well, I, I, that, that dangle and the care. You know what that dangle and the care mean? If you keep going a little further, you come on, you'll grab it. That season is over. Come on, somebody. Everything that's in my reach, I'll be able to grab. Oh, God. Everything that God has promised me, I'll be able to get. Come on, somebody. Because I've got longevity in this. I've surrendered my life. The table of the Lord said to me, He said, Why are you worrying? Don't you know you got seed in the ground? That's right. Don't you know that it's my pleasure to bless you? I don't care what the enemy try to say to you, what he trying to convince you of. Don't you know it's my good and pleasure? Come on. To reward you, to bless you. Come on, somebody. I'm not, watch this. I'm not even talking about harvest because harvest comes from seeds you planted. But watch this. I'm talking about reward. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about the fact that you've been through enough stuff. I'm talking about the fact that I was flipping you on every hand. And every time I try to catch you out, you come back even stronger. I help us sometimes. Then I'm flipping you on every side. But every time you keep coming back, come on, somebody. You got the seal of anointing. Say, I may be black, I may be ugly, but I'm still here. I help us somebody. Trying to convince you that it's over. The devil is a liar. I still got more years in here. I still got more time in here. Come on, somebody. He got to pay me for what I did to him. Maybe think about when, when, when the king began to, in Esther, the book of Esther, the Bible talks about the king began to read old scrolls. This, this time, it was uncommon for the king to have nothing to do. And so because he had nothing to do, he told the servant, bring me my old scrolls. And he began to read how Mordecai saved his life. And he asked the question, he said, have we paid Mordecai? Yeah. I submit this to you, that he began to read his old scroll. And he said, have I paid freedom for the assembly yet?
that I've been through, all that I've been afflicted with. Any time I come on, the enemy try to convince you, and then it's over. Come on. But you gotta be like Caleb. Give me my mountain. Come on. Caleb said, I'm taking my mountain. You're not an old age. I'm taking my mountain. Come on, somebody. It's my sin. Oh, my shame. It's my time. Then he said this to me. I'm gonna talk to you today, ready. He said to me, he said, the kingdom of God is voice activated. He said, so why you ain't, the reason why you ain't God is because you ain't saved yet. I said, what are you saying to me? He said, I've been waiting on your voice. Go with me, real quick. I just got this. I just got this one. Go with me. First Corinthians 16th chapter. Verse 8. One of my favorite scriptures. First Corinthians 16, verse 8. Watch this. Watch what Paul says. He says, but I'll tarry at Ephesus until Pentecost. We can we can read pro Pentecost now. Right? Come on, yeah. He says, for a great door and effectual is open unto me. And there are many adversaries. Paul said this to me one time. He said to me, you great know that you're approaching the season of a great and effective door. Yes. When you get so much adversity on every side. Yes. When you get a lot of opposition. Yes. Then it's time for your great and effective door. Oh now I should understand this about this door, mother. This door is just not like any door. Come on, come on. There's many doors that God opened unto you. Yes. But then there's a great and the festival door. Yeah. Come on, come on. Woo! Somebody help me in here. Watch this. It's open unto me. And so I like going to Giant Eagle. Because I like getting fuel perks. Right now, gas so high. Woo! Yeah. I get ready to ride a bike. Yeah. <laughs> I need a fuel perks. Yeah. Yeah. And somehow my wife. Seems to have all of you. I said, well, do we got the same car? Because <laughs> uh, I go and hit her car, and she got $2 off. Well, I, I go and hit my car, and I only got $0.50 cent off. Said, well, what car are you using? And so I love going to Johnny. And every Johnny I go to, there's a automatic door to be open to me, right? And so what happens is that on these automatic doors, they have a sensor at the door. Yeah. That senses when somebody comes, yeah. when there's a presence of somebody, that it only opens like that, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, if it just, if it only, if it senses any old thing, it'd be open up all the time, right? right? And so it only senses when there is a presence there. Yeah. It only opens when there's a presence. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. And so what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that this great and effective door that's going to be open to you will only open when you show up. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Come on. That it will only open when it senses your presence. Oh, God, you're missing, you're missing, you're missing. You're missing. And so what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that the door is waiting for you to do what? Show up. Show up. But I mean, the Sunday you said, I'm not coming to because I'm mad angry, might be the Sunday that the door was scheduled up. But you did not show up. I'm helping somebody here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have perfect intentions because I never know when the door is. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I never know when the door is scheduled to open. Come on, somebody. And I don't want it to miss my presence. Come on, somebody. Because this door is due to me. Come on, somebody. It's owed to me. Come on, somebody. Because all my blood, sweat, and tears. Come on, somebody. All the pain and situations and stuff I've been through. This great and effective door. Come on, somebody. It's open to me because my tears built it. Come on, somebody. My frustration built it. Come on. My disappointment built this door. Come on, somebody. My setback built this door. Come on. The opposition built this door. And so I'm going to wait and walk. Come on, somebody. With the door open and I help us out right here. I can walk up to it. Come on, somebody. Heartbreaks built this door. Come on. Tears built this door. Come on, help us out right here. Somebody say, my great and effective door is waiting on me to show up. Come on, somebody. Come on and shout to you, God, and pray.
is manifestation time. Yes. Just, just, just lean over to your neighbor and tap them because you don't want to disturb them. And just say it's manifestation time. Come on, just tell them it's manifestation time. I don't, I, I, I don't care what you've been through. Come on. I don't care what the enemy told you when he tried to convict you of. Come on, somebody. It's manifestation time. It will help us up right here. This is my season. Come on, somebody. I won't be dealing with this health issue no more. Come on. I won't be dealing with this broke issue no more. Come on, somebody. I won't be dealing with this appointment. Come on, somebody. I won't be dealing with, come on, somebody. Missing the curve. Come on, somebody. I always be on time. I'm helping somebody. I always had a right connection. Come on. Because it's manifestation time. Come on. Every time I turn around, come on, favor follows me. Come on. Every time I turn around, bless me. myself to 
to this house. For you know me as a sustainer. You know me as a keeper. You know me as the one to provide. But I come to show this house that I'm the one that rewards. I'm the one that rewards, said the Lord. I come to reward this house for years of sacrifice, years of pain, says the Lord. I come to reward this house. For it's my pleasure to do so, says the Lord. Because you have served me at a capacity. You have served me at a level, says the Lord. And I come to reward you. For many that's overlooked this house and counted the days when this house shall be gone. But I come to show this house that I have the record. And I come to reward, says the Lord. Many of you will skip some steps. Many of you will make success as even overnight. Because my hand has on this house, says the Lord. And I come to reward. And the angel Lord said this to the house that your season have changed. Mm-hmm. And even the angels that accompany you in this season have changed. But there was angels that accompany was the angels of survival. Mm-hmm. But now shall come to you is the angels of acceleration. For you shall accelerate, says the Lord. Thank you. You shall accelerate, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And many will say, where has this house come from? Where have, we, have these people, these prophets come from that shall arise from this house? For I shall raise up a group of prophets in this house that will speak the oracles, will speak what I say to the Lord. They will be like we have not seen in these days, says the God. Mm-hmm. But I shall credit this house for the training. Universities shall come out of this house. Schools shall come out of this house. Councilmen shall come out of this house. Mayors shall come out of this house. Business entrepreneurs shall come out of this house, says the Lord. For I shall begin to pay you, says the Lord. Lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. He's amazing. Yes. Now, watch this. Yes. I feel a shift. I feel a healing on this drug in this place. Now, that's so all I want you to do. I want you, if you have any pain in your body, I want you to stand up. If you got any pain in your body, I want you to stand up. I have an anointing to heal the sick. It's a Lord. If you're in pain, I want you to come up to the front. There's a, there's a healer on you. Somebody said the healer on this here. Somebody said the healer on this here. The healing anointing is here. Don't be scared. I put the order on this morning, praise the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Ooh, I feel such an anointing. It's all about the glory here. It's all over. Hell, it's all over you. It's just, this glory is just all over you. Take a deep breath. That's it. Boom. That's it. Boom. Boom. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. The strength coming to you even now. We thank you for it. Thank you for it. Boom. Boom. We thank you for it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. All right, let me go down the town. You, you're alive? What's going on? Hit All right. Say it was a 10 right there when you sit down. What is it now? A zero? You got no pain? 
Touch it, touch it. No pain at all. Come on, somebody shout it here. What's going on, my brother? Shoulder. Tell us the ten we was back there. What is it now? Test it. Do something you couldn't do before. Can't raise no higher than this. And that's something different you're doing now. And so, so is that a change? You can raise it that high. Go ahead. Let's try. Is that different? Come on. You couldn't do that before, right? Come on, somebody shout it here. Hey, you got no pain. Come on, somebody shout it here. Go ahead. Go receive it. You got diabetes? God's going to heal you. Go watch this one. You're going to eat the right stuff. Do you eat the right stuff? Oh, this is the instruction. The Lord wants you to eat the right stuff. Because it's not, mm -hmm. it's not his will that you finish the balance of your days. That's with right. That's right. And so I heard God say, if you make a decision to change your eating habits, I heal you. But it's according to you making the right decisions. All right? So how many know God don't do magic? No, he don't. No, he don't. Eat the right stuff. I know it's hard. I be eating sweets too. <laughs> gotta let it go. Come on. Yeah, and when you let it go, God will heal you. Tell me what I hear the Lord say. It's that I'll renew your years. But it's according to your obedience. Oh, that's it. Thank The Holy Ghost. <laughs> What's going on, my sister? Go up and go down. All right, say the pain was a 10 when he was right there. What is it now? It's still, it's still the same? All right, lift your hands up. Do something crazy. It's all God, all right? Show up, stand up, my mind. In Jesus' name. Now test it now. What does it feel like now? It's lower, so it was a 10. What is it now? About a six. All right, let's take a walk now because you're going to make me work. Huh? Oh, I know that's right. <laughs> you said you didn't get nothing free here. I know that's right. <laughs> now, every step you're going to get better. Come on. Every step you're going to get better. Well, every step you're going to get better. Now, what does it feel like now? Is it a change? Is it a change? Is that pain? All right, let me ask you a question. Is there anybody you need to forgive? Too far. 
<laughs> it's still, there's still a hook in them. And I promise I'll just tell you, there's a day that's coming, you're going to have your own church. Oh, and yes. it's going to work. Oh, yeah. And it's going to work. Test it, test it now, because I've sealed you. And there's fresh revelation coming from the scripture. Oh, you're going to look at the scripture in a whole different way. Yeah. Come on, shout it here. When you get up, yeah, you don't pay. What's going on, brother? Back, hip. That's why you walk with the cat. Okay. Boom, get your heel. Put your hands inside the hand. Boom, boom, boom. Test it now. What it feel like? A four? It was a ten when you sit down. The four? All right, one more time. Put your hands. Boom. Test it down. No pain. Come on, shout it. What's going on? Okay. Glory. When are you supposed to go back to the doctor? So can you feel it? Sometimes. All right, let me ask you a question. I need your participation. How would y'all act if she got healed? So how would you act if she got healed? We wait on you. Come on, I got a point in church. Come on. 
Come on, let's lift our hands and worship. Come on, he's still healed. Hallelujah. He's still healed. You guys be careful with the help of You be the strength. Hold that for me. All right, look at me. Father, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your healing power. Father, I thank you for her years of faithfulness. You're going to heal her. And we thank you for this season's friends and no pain in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you guys to just walk her. Just walk her. And every step, she's going to get better. Amen. Come on, every step. And we got to pray in church. Every step, she's going to get better. Come on, every step, she's going to get better. Come on, every step, she's going to get better. Every step, she's going to get better. We come against this spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. What are you feeling like now? You feeling better? Okay. Come on, every step you'll get better. There won't be no effects of her falling in the name of Jesus. But every step, she goes every step. Oh, God's not a man and he's a lie. Every step. Hey, hey, oh, check me out. Y'all keep quiet and give me a Every step, she's going to get better. Hey, do I have a praying church? Every step. What do you feel like now? What do you feel like now? Hallelujah. Come on. Even this battle, God, we command you to fix it in the name of Jesus. We command you to fix it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. Come on, take a walk. Take a Is a zero? Hallelujah. Don't say it right now. Say I'm healed. Come on, shout it here. Go be seated because you're healed right here. You're not here. What's going on? You got pain in your head now? Yes, Lord. Okay, and say it was a 10 when you were sitting down. What is it now? Yes, Lord. Still a 10? Yes, Lord. What is it now? Three. No? Yes, Lord. That means you got what? Oh, y'all are. Come on. Come on, shout in. That's the Holy Ghost. Look at me. Boom. That's it. No migraines in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. Oh, that's it. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Come on, shout in. Come on. Come on. You preaching? Not sure. Okay, I like that answer. <laughs> you got two. What? That what happened? That what? Happened? Oh Jesus. Okay, so you got pain all the places, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So say it was a ten when you were sitting down with it now. So a six. Okay. That's all right. Get you. Lift your hands. Right? I'm going to bump you. Boom. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Boom. Now, what do you feel like now? Mm-hmm. Still a six? Still a six? Mm-hmm. Don't change it all. Mm-hmm. All right. Do something else. Jesus. Right? Jesus. Right? Jesus. 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 Jesus, right, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Show up, step your love. Oh, da, da, da. Right, it's such an anointing right up here. Uh, what's, what's going on? You, you still in pain? No? No pain? Come on, shout! Hallelujah! We 
we command healing. We command it in the name of, oh yeah, that's it. Boom, that's it, that's it. We command it, we command it. We command it. God, he has too many years in the kingdom. Thank you, Lord. We command it. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We command strength to these leaders. Thank you. Strength to them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We command it. My brother, what's going on now? Hallelujah. It's gone. Not all the way. So it's a sick It's moving. Now watch this. Anytime pain moves, pain can't move because pain is an inanimate object. So anytime it moves, it's a spirit. Okay, now. All right. So stand up and go cancel the spirit of the property. Come on, stand up. We come against the spirit of infirmity. We loose it right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, the spirit of infirmity don't mean he's demonized. Yeah, that's church, right. Church, church, everybody got demons. <laughs> Some folks live it right. Praise the Lord. So we come against the spirit of infirmity. Loose it right now in the name of Jesus. Loose it right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Loose it right now. Jesus. 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 Okay, mother, you're going to be wealthy, girl. Watch out now. You've got a brilliant mind. And what the enemy has tried to attack is your brilliance. But I promise I'll to you that you're going to be wealthy. You have multiple businesses, multiple streams of income. That's what I hear God say. There's a lot you want to do for this house. And if I had the money, I'd just write a check. And so God said, oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the right connections in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the right doors you're going to open. I say. You're going to open some the right doors. Let me say this. Church, be your warning. Everything she do won't be church. There's places you want to go where church people are normally not at. You know, one thing the church is doing, if we're supposed to go into the world, it can't be in church all the time. <laughs> Hello? I saw some folks now they don't come to church all the time, not because they have home watching Martin, but because they have, they doing work in the world. You know? My wife can't come to church all the time. She, she's in nursing. She can't come to church all the time. But I thank God when they check the pocket. You know? And so there will be places that you will go to. Hear me. Where church people don't know where to go. Because you're called to the marketplace. Right. You're called to business. Uh, but God said, everywhere you go, you be there. Because uh, he called you to the word of God say. Ooh, thank you for it. Thank you for it. I thank you for the creative, creative ideas and witty intentions. He's going to bless the work in your hands. You got children? Two. Two boys? I saw boys too. They love him. <laughs> but I heard God say this one of them will get married really early. We'll get married, I don't know which one. We'll get married really early. Not that I'm early. I got married at 20 something. And I heard God say, He is so anointed. He's so anointed for her, God say. And one of them will be into gaming like video games. <laughs> 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 but he's going to make a lot of money in gaming. So don't, don't. I know sometimes you don't want them on the game, but it's going to make a lot of money, is what I heard God say. He's going to be one that create games and discover games, and they were going to stay, we're going to sit, pay him to test games, what I heard God say. Yeah. I know you get on the nerves. Right? Right. What do you feel like now, brother? You look different. What do you feel? Huh? About a four? Come on. Take a, take a walk and every, every step you'll be healed. Come on, did you enjoy yourself this morning? Come on, did you enjoy yourself this morning? My sister, right here. What's your name? Yeah, I think I, I, think I went to school with you, girl. I stand up. 
Here's what I did not say to you. Oh, God. I just want to say this. That you've been through a, a season of heartbreak. Sometimes like one after the other. Like, boom, 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 boom. But the Lord said, you're coming to a season where he can really make you glad. I don't know what your living situation is, but that's going to really change. I don't know what you're driving, but that's going to really change. God's getting ready just to bless you. Because you even serve at a young age. There's some folks around you like, why you going to church? We knew when she wasn't going to church. But God said, because you make sacrifice and keep coming, I'm getting ready to reward you. You remember this house? You're in the right house. Somebody said, somebody said she's in the right house. Come on, come on, come on. Did you enjoy yourself? Come on, did you enjoy yourself? Just do this thing. And what's your name today? Say, neighbor. I got something to prophesy to you. Something to prophesy to you. Come say it's manifestation time. It's manifestation time. Come on, shout it yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Let the Lord know that you are serious about a relationship with Him. God is good. He's faithful to His Word. So the blessings and healing that are taking place here now, I pray to the Lord that you will believe in the power of healing, that you will put it in your mind that you need some help. Help is available. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. just told me what happened. And I want to read some word to you. <clears throat> because I was standing there, I heard the Lord say, there was an exchange made. And the exchange was made that she received long life. And so I heard the Lord say, well done, my good and faithful son. But you ushered her to my hand. And now she has long life. Oh, yes. In 2019, I had to do something that I did not expect to do. I had to usher my sister into long life. And so the Lord said to me, well done. And I'm saying to you what he said to me, well done. You fought the fight. And now she has long life. And the Lord said, I will reward you. I reward you. I reward you. Don't fight off the thoughts. Fight off the thoughts that the enemy tried to tell you you could have did more. You did all you're supposed to. And now she would see the way. That's what it works for. Oh God, we've already released it. He'll be 
confirming what you've already said. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. For your glory. For, your for the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. that you're still carrying from your child. And I see the Lord keep bringing it up to you to let it go, but it's like you're gripping it instead of releasing it. And, and the love for the children will not be there until you release. And the healing anointing will increase more and more as you find yourself in the presence of the Lord in a quiet place. And you'll see lives change by the power of God. So just put that in your arsenal. There shall be a season when you begin to set up every day meeting that you will minister at the perfection of evangelism, preaching and declaring the word of the Lord unto his people. The Lord bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, sir. I, I, I hear the voice of the Lord saying, and I saw fire. You're standing in the fire. He here. says, do not get out of the fire. Stay in the fire. He said, there's deliverance in the fire. And why are you in the fire? Praise me, son. Deliverance and the children. Now, there is a window. I saw a window that was open. 
as you praise me in the fire, deliverance will come, said the Lord. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. That's all I heard. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I I am the Lord that he left me. I am the Lord that he left me. Amen. 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 Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory with now, both now and forever. Amen. When of God, round table. When? May 21st, 2022, Saturday. Where? Martin Luther King Library. 1962, Strokes Boulevard, Cleveland, Ohio, 44106. Time, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Contact information, Evangelist Cheryl, 440 area code 810-1990, and Minister Allen, 216 area code 4925-66. It's going to be a hallelujah good time, ladies. Hope you enjoy. Oh, okay. Now, Mm. Buren for Patrice Simpson Russell will be Thursday, May 19th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Home going going service will be Friday, May 20th. Wait, 1230 p.m. service. 1 p.m. both services will be Watson Funeral Home, located at 10913 Superior Avenue. If you have any prayer requests, Please write them on the note cards in the back. The ushers will pass them out to you and put them in the prayer box here and someone will collect them. Now we're ready to forgive it, right? Amen. If you would like to pay your tithes and offering with debit cards, please meet Danielle in the secretary office. This is our office right over there where Johnny Allen is sitting. You can also give by using the Give Fly app, or you can go to our Facebook page and click the Use app button. It will take you directly to your Give Fly page or Cash app FCA 1989, or by mail, Post Office Box 10368, Cleveland, Ohio 44112. Any questions? You may stand. Family of freedom, I want all who are free 
Two thousand fans with all that are free to make your way on that Thursday game. Let that come. Friday. Our precious daughter, Amen, got her wings. Amen. And I want everybody who uh, can be at the celebration of her home going. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Friday. Uh, uh, make a uh, calling decision to be there. We want to give her an awesome send off of love. Amen. Mm -hmm. We'll hold it up there for a minute. Praise God. But uh, that's what we want. Family. Family gather together to bless. Amen. Our daughter. Amen. And Sandra. Praise God. We love you, Sandra. Praise God. Sandra, God be upon you in the day. Yes, yes. Amen. We're going to dance with her. Praise that's God. Right. Amen. Yes, we are. I hope everybody got everything they were looking for this morning. If you didn't get everything, if you got something, that's good too. Sometimes you can't get everything at one time anyway. It can trick you. So Father, we thank you for the offering this morning and the giving. We ask that you will bless those that were able to give this morning that had and those that couldn't give, we pray, Father, that the next time we meet together again, that they'll be able to have. We ask the Lord God to bless every house and not be slacking anything at all. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for our faithful members that came out. Mm -hmm. We thank you for those that have watched us online today as well. As you bless us, bless them as well, Father. We thank you for your goodness and your kindness. We thank you for the words that came from the prophet today. Thank you, Lord. Let us take these words and keep them in our bosom, Lord God, and continue to trust you and realize all good things come from you, God. We thank you now. Bless us as we leave, as we travel, in all our directions. Cause us to be saved. Allow us to be a light to somebody after we leave here today, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We dismiss.